Welcome, it's Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. This is the 5th of August. It's Asia Office Hours. Thanks for being here. Topics I've got on the list, action items, news, Google Summer of Code, look and feel updates, change log and upgrade guide, long-standing pull requests, and that's about it. Uh, so Meg, is your schedule such that you've got about 30, 40 minutes or? Something like that, yes. Okay, good. Well, so let's, we may hold ourselves to not more than about 30, but there are a few topics here that I think are of, of interest. I'm gonna move this one that might be of interest to Kristen down a little in case she arrives and we can talk about it while she's here. Sounds good. Okay, so there was one that I wanted your feedback. Okay, oh, action items, I've made no progress and it'll be a while. So uh, news, LTS 2.361.1 is, or 361 is the likely next baseline. It seems to be pretty reasonably well accepted. Seems to be very well accepted right now. Uh, discussions are in the uh, developer list, but lots of people saying, yes, that looks fine. We may have to do a few backports based on what we learn in upcoming weeks. The next topic though, is, is one that I wanted your guidance on. So what we've done is the Jenkins site has uh, a new look and feel. All right. Okay, so this is how it looks. Um, and I the, I, I like the look, uh, but of course I was one of the reviewers. However, there's some controversy around that because what Daniel noted is that, Hey, the font was changed, even though review comments said, Hey, don't change the font. And he's concerned that that indicates we should really revert the thing and and it also has some had some layout issues with uh for instance if we do this we look at security click advisories and click here for example and then do this one what oh no that one that one looks okay so there are cases where it will show part there were cases in the past maybe it's fixed now where it would show part of the text um, of the preceding line. It oh. looks like that's been resolved. So I think, I think we're in good condition there. Uh, but for me, the, the open question was to Daniel's, Daniel's proposal. What we've got is we've got two pull requests pending. Let's show those. So one is a change from the original submitter saying, Hey, let's, here's the, here are the changes to fix a few things and to improve some stuff. So one of the improvements was around this, actually, I'll just show it on the top level page. If we look here, notice that this, these two calendar items don't show the complete text. Oh yeah. And, and the justification is a little off and edgy so what well, it's different the left and the right one there have different justification rules right well and so let's look at the fix here for this so what the submitter noted is oh yeah here's how it used to look here's how it is now so if we open up this environment we can look at it and see what the the prototype deployment looks like so here's the prototype and notice now the, the gradient here around the edge uh -huh. and the text is fully visible. So for me, this is, this is a nice improvement. I agree. Now, in terms of the font change, there is some change because I'm gonna, so this is new, this is after the fix, before the fix. Notice that there was a, there is a change. Okay. And so I think he has also successfully brought back using system fonts and, and, and that's a good thing. Okay. Now I'm not visual enough to, to care dramatically about 
whether which of those it is, but I, I like that this brought back the work that had done previous been done previously to switch to use system fonts for best resolution and for best rendering. Okay. So, so, but now the question then becomes, all right, we've got the request from Daniel that suggests, hey, let's revert it because it wasn't reviewable. It must not have been reviewable because multiple reviewers would not have missed the font change. He says, therefore, it's safest to revert. I... My, my preference, and I think Tim Jacome's preference and the preference expressed in Doc's Office Hours uh, Europe earlier today was, no, let's go ahead and merge this change, this next change in, so that we get better rather than going back. Right. So the question to you is, you, you and I both have good interactions with Daniel, right? We trust his judgment. So, and that's a piece going against his judgment is rather uncommon for me, but but I'm open to your insights. And if it here. were a security issue, I'd be hesitant to. Mm -hmm. But I don't, does he have particular expertise in this? I mean, it almost sounds petulant that he said we were gonna change this and we, do you, does he have any objections to this font? And it mm. seems to me that there are, the system font thing is a good thing to do. Well, and, and the system font is bringing back what was there before. Okay. So, so that's, that's really one that, that he wanted and that I agree we should bring back. We had done okay. work about two or three weeks ago, Shabinak Konechny had done work to, to switch us from separate fonts to, to preferring system fonts for best resolution. Okay. Yeah, that, I, I don't have real strong feelings about that. Okay, so... So you would would you be okay then if we if I went ahead and merged this one and then I'll have the conversation with Daniel? I would be certainly. And this so does this and merging this one, does this give Daniel what he wants? It I'm not sure that it resolves all the issues that Daniel has seen, mm. but it for me it's it's an improvement and this is the second incremental improvement. So I think it's a worthwhile thing to do. Let me do a yeah. quick look at the files change just to be sure. If there was, if we inadvertently undid something that Tim Jacom fixed, no, I think. Yeah, so here's the font change. That's good. Okay. This thing where the Arial is taken from here and moved instead to here. So okay. he's changing font priority. I think is what what's happening. Okay. And uh, yeah, it seems, I mean, that, I don't know, for, for, for look and feel stuff, you have to do stuff, you have to keep reviewing what you have. Right. Is, because, because a change in one thing will make something else appear different. It's just, it's too cool. soft. It's, it's back to all the reasons that user testing of interfaces is always manual and really time consuming. Right, right. Good, good observation. Actually, okay, so but now I look at this. See, when I look at this text, I don't object to that. But I think that is significantly different than what we had before. So I'm not sure I'm ready to sign up yet. Because I don't understand why this became so strong when I thought it was previously more like this. Ah. Now, now, but of course, my memory for for visual stuff like that is is not nearly as good as it should be. Yeah. I, I'm like I'm just I'm not that visual either. Yeah. Okay. So maybe my only I may... response I always like if it's going to be technical stuff, I want to make sure that you can easily see the difference between a one and a lowercase l. Mm, right and between and, and ideally a zero and a capital o those are the two like if it's technical stuff and other than that right and and this is not this is the, the when we're when we're using a code font i think we have that distinction and it's it's very good yeah but right now 
And when, I mean, the numbers you got are like 2022. If you don't know that that is a zero instead of a capital O, I'm not really interested. Right, yep. Oh. Okay, so I may, I may hold on it. And um, I had told the Office Hours Europe that I would have a conversation with Daniel to, to get some sense of it. And, and yeah, so let me, let me have that conversation with him. I think we're going to go forward. Um, Where was his, I saw his comment five, I saw that in general, it's good practice and then it moved. Oh yeah, his comment there was, hey, this his, he was asking this question, hey, what does this actually change? Why are there multiple changes in the pull request? Okay. And what the author said, oh, hey, there was, there was, it was fixing this thing and oh we should change the font order get the font thing fixed as well and i wonder maybe i need to go look at the font definition and see if it's still not back to the original that we had two or three weeks ago right and he's right but i mean he could say the same thing about that that big pr that's sitting out there there are certain things that are hard to do in minuscule separate pieces right and 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 that's that i think is the sense here of if in order to do it in order to do it in tiny subsections you end up doing it once throwing it all away breaking it into partition pieces then do it again and maybe doing it two or three times before you get to the point where you're ready and right. many people don't have the patience for that kind of decomposition right okay good so good guidance. So I will, I will discuss with general sense to proceed, but uh, worth a conversation with Daniel to resolve concerns. Great. Okay. All right. Anything else, are you anything else that you wanted to highlight on the look and feel topic? I don't think so. I think it's a huge improvement. I, I like it. I like yeah. I like the work that's been done. I think it's very very attractive. Right. Well, I do, I like blue better than orange. So the other one was always ugly. Right. Yep. Okay. Next topic is the change log, and it's it's been updated. The pull request is is in progress, and. Actually, I need to do a quick review of it because, oh, I've already reviewed it, good. And been through it, made corrections. So the release for this is scheduled for next Wednesday. Excellent. All right, next topic then was Google Summer of Code update. And this one, I wanted to highlight one. So really a cool conversation that's happening with some analysis that Vihan Thora has done. So Vihan looked at the document files that are generated and found that there are several, in huh. this case, eight that are the vast majority of size. Whoa. And some of these are so large that it's multiple minutes to get them loaded and process the JavaScript on them. Interesting. So he's now looking at ways to break these out so that instead of a five megabyte file, it becomes a series of much smaller files. Ah. And what he's realized is some of them contain massive duplication uh, the content of this workflow SCM step, if I remember right, is one that is duplicated in this one and in this one and in this one. So it's huh. a compounding thing. Yeah. Okay. So now one of the, one of the other outcomes that came from this is we realized there's a bug. And so this bug report was submitted as a result of today's European docs office hours that were missing a piece that used to be there in the pipeline steps, steps reference. Oh. And, and so Vihan is going to go looking. We isolated it down to a, a difference between two different days. It was broken July 27 and worked July 26. Ah. So Vihan's got a a range of times to check to see if 
he can identify what caused the change and he's yeah. got log files. NPRs, right? Right. And then he can submit pull requests to. So what, what he saw is this thing now calls itself Jenkins Core in documenting checkout. And the reason it says Jenkins Core when it should in fact say workflow SCM step is that for some reason the workflow SCM step is missing. Oh. So that's the bug. Mm. Any questions on Google Summer of Code? Very cool, except it's going while I take it. Oh, yes, yes. Vihan's work. Well, so back to showing it just how great it is, right? The, the one that I'm in, in love with, and I'm not sure Vihan understands why I'm so in love with this, but there it is. <laughs> Yes. I search for checkout. I click that, and here it is right in front of me. Right. So, and, and just, it's a it's a much better experience based on the work that Vihan has done. It is, and the left frame stuff. And yes, right. The, the fact that it stays put, it stays in place while I'm scrolling. Very, very nice. All this stuff that's always hard to prioritize over other work, but. Right, right. But it just makes the navigation experience better. Yeah. yeah. All right. So next, the only topics that I had remaining were long span standing pull requests. This modernizing a plugin thing hasn't gotten any work from me this week, but I've got new volunteers. All so right. Kevin Martins will will be evaluating it and following the steps so we'll get one more person assessing it and we we need to be need to be ready for the for devops world because we'll use it in this 90 minute session right and then are you also going to publish it as a doc at that point? It, it will. It should be published before that, actually. So yeah, that's. I, I last night I looked at the agenda and I clicked over to it, and I saw, it, it's all about the conference. When I, you know, at the very beginning of it, you start reading, and it's all about the workshop at the conference. I think. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. Well, so this was the, the workbook was originally created for last year's DevOps. Right. World. But but the the tutorial itself is hiding in a pull request. Let's go grab that pull request. And in the pull request, I don't think it talks about conference at all, but let me double check. No, nope, not that one. My mistake this one okay so if we look at oh, oh this is good this is the old look oh, oh this is very good meg i have exactly what i need from this okay all right, so it is slightly different. Okay, this this page already helps me. I had had forgotten that this hasn't been merged with hasn't received ah. the, the latest look and feel. So it's the old look and feel. So we got a nice side effect here. Now yeah. ignoring that nice side effect, <laughs> let's go to the developer guide, and here we've got the improve a plugin tutorial page, and it takes us through the the various sections. And I don't think any of them make any mention of. Yeah, they don't. Good. Okay. okay. I just started, I had 10 minutes and I just started looking at the beginning of it. And okay. Good. You're, okay. You're replacing the video with the one from this year. Is it you and Darren? This is, yeah, the videos, each of the videos is cued to that specific thing in the video. So when I start to play, you'll notice it jumps in 40 minutes into the video. So you're right on exactly the spot. Yeah. And are you gonna replace it with videos from this year? Oh, no, 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 no. Because the videos that Darren and I did 
are are still good and we'll just keep them okay cool all right so well so meg i think we've got a few minutes would you be okay if we looked again at your security docs i think it's about sure. time let's spend the last 10 or 15 minutes on that okay what i wanted to do because they've sat, I, I suspect there may be some conflicts. So let's go take a look at them and see. That's a good, yes. Okay, so, okay, so restructure. This one does not have any conflicts in it, really? You know oh, no. what, because yes, stuff does. got moved around. What I bet is there's conflicts that GitHub isn't going to find. Well, and I don't know. Well, yeah, so so it's it shows two conflicts. And so would you be okay if we spend a few minutes trying to sure, resolve let's those see conflicts? what we got with them, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring up a terminal emulator here and 4612. Okay. Let's see, GH repo sync. Okay, and this will have conflicts and they are this one. So controller isolation. Okay. Okay, so how many conflicts? Just one. All right, so, so here's what the text says. It says, the Jenkins controller is a web server where Jenkins is installed. It schedules tasks, execute management tasks. Files written when a pipeline executes are written to the file system on the controller unless they are offloaded. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm not clear on this one. So is this one that we should take both of them? That's what I'm thinking in there. Okay, to prevent builds from running directly on the build-in node, that should be fixed, I think, rather than build-in node directly. Oh, so from running directly on the built-in node like uh -huh, that? And then get rid of the directly afterwards. Yeah, it's just... Okay. Okay, navigate to manage. Um, set the number of executors to zero and save. Make sure to also set up clouds or build agents to run builds. Okay, that's what's new. On which yeah, build. so this is okay, take out the phrasal verb. On which to run builds or okay, or, build on, agents, or that builds on is bad. That yeah, exactly that that dangling dangling yeah. thing there okay make sure to also configure clouds or build agents where builds what about just where builds run okay does that work how about like this future okay. tense it's for me, that's almost almost inferred. I think it would be enough to say this. Right, yeah, you're right. You know what, you're right. Um, otherwise it's bothering me too, and I don't know why. Otherwise, where do you see the word otherwise? Oh, okay, right. Otherwise builds- Well, oh, so could we, how about a different phrasing? configure clouds or build agents so that builds have can execute. Yes, you got it. Or can start. Execute. Yeah. Or builds have an agent or a what node. About, 
configure clouds or build agents where builds can execute. Oh, oh yes, there we go. Very, very good. Okay. Yeah, every, Git is brilliant in how it merges stuff. And every once in a while, it just misses something completely and I don't get it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so, so that, that has resolved, resolved that, that one. one. Now let's look at the next one. So this one. Uh, oops. This one has been removed, but it was modified in the removal. Wonder how he modified it. Wait a minute. So the introduction to securing securing Jenkins has been removed. Uh, right. That's what this says, anyway. Oh. Should that be that? that should I don't know. Did they move it someplace or? Let's see. It's been so long, but as I require, as I recall, that had some interesting stuff in it. Okay, that wasn't helpful. Let's try it again. Okay, so it is. That is the only place that I see it. Oh, is was this your addition? Let's see if it looks like you're right. No. And do you, I assume you don't recognize this one, particularly since it's got references to the wiki page. Right, but those could have been added. Okay, well, let's see. Are they are they still valid? I want to know what what it looks like now. What if this were merged? What would it leave? What happens when you open the securing Jenkins section? Okay, well let's let's do that. So we can do a make run, and we're going to see how it looks. Okay. That's why it's been so much history and I'm out of it. I don't know. Right, right. A fair point. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here we are. So documentation, securing Jenkins. Okay. Concepts. Yeah. Well, that kind of looks okay. Oh yeah, that yeah, that's because I that's what I remember was that there was some stuff there that I'd written that was part of sort of Daniel's when we spent a night together where he educated me on this stuff and a lot of his wisdom that made it into the courseware and didn't make it into the docs. Mm, okay. And, okay. and I have no confidence that that courseware is ever going to see the light of day again. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look terrible. No, see for me, it looks quite good actually. Yeah. Okay, so this is with the file still there. Uh, the file, so I think that what that's telling us is I should we should add that file and not lose it. 
Unless what does it look like without it there? I mean, they might have made a new see. file or just store yeah, it. Let's see. Just, Good question. Or they maybe decide to start with security because I don't know. Writers always want to do all this introductory stuff. And I think, and sometimes we're right and sometimes we're not. Sometimes it's just noise. Okay. So there we go. I resolved it, that conflict by removing it. Now let's do the make again. So I'm not seeing any difference, Meg. Well, click on securing Jenkins itself. It's whether there's something in that index file. There we go. Yeah, and that know. looks like it's there. Yeah, this looks the same to me as there was before. Right. Okay, so I'm totally well, confused well, as to what's going on, but. Well, I think that means that the file is is not required. It's probably been excluded from the table of contents or something like that. And so it's safe to delete it. Okay. So I'm going to commit that merge and push it. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. So we're, we're hitting the end of your available time. Yeah, but we we've made good progress on that one because now it's back in a condition where it can be reviewed. You're right. Yeah. And then All right. I don't know, there's probably been changes, but oh, I did what I could. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that sounds good. Things just keep getting better and better. Yes. Anything else before we close for today? Not for me. All right. Well, Meg, thank you for your time. Have a great evening. Good Always luck. a pleasure. A good week. And uh, I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. See you next week. Thanks.